Most children were heading back to school today. The children in this next story were not. Imagine education where there is no curriculum and kids dictate the lesson. CTV Sarah Plowman has more on what's being called unschooling. It's mid-morning at the O'Briens on the first day of school. 15-year-old Aiden practices his music. His younger sister, Summer, studies anatomy, and his brother, Kai, reads with his mom. In times that are a little bit less warm. Okay. But we will Google it. To Welcome to unschooling. There's no classroom, no teacher. The kids decide what they learn, how they learn, and when they learn it. We go out in the world, we have lots of adventures, and we learn through living life experiences. And on top of that, they learn through following their own passions and interests. Mom Lola O'Brien says critics may see unschooling as doing nothing, but it's actually a lot of work. She facilitates, but much of the time, the older O'Briens teach themselves through books or videos online. Unschooling is a lifestyle. And it's something that we embrace as an entire household. So I'm learning all the time. Ethan, I have a question for you. Ethan Hocko is trying unschooling for the first time this year. On this day, he and his mom explore the Art Gallery of Alberta. He's interested in math and games. So we have lots of math games. Um, it just even any game we play pretty much incorporates math. Unschooled children are still registered with the school board. Twice a year, a facilitator stops by their home to see what they're learning. And yes, post-secondary is still an option. All children in Alberta who want marks and credits for grade 12 courses need to write the diploma exam. Judy Arnold wrote a book looking at the paths of 30 kids who were unschooled and found a third of them went on to study science and math. Because they were all very motivated and excited to go on to post-secondary because they didn't spend 16 years in an institution. Back at the O'Briens, Summer has her sights set on becoming a surgeon. Kai is curious about everything and Aiden aspires to be a 3D animator. And while he knows he could go to school, he thinks learning this way is working. I, I feel like when I do learn something, I'm much more likely to remember what I've learned because it's I learned it because it's something that I'm interested in. Unschooling might mean a lot of homework, but these students wouldn't have it any other way. Rigel? Yeah. Sarah Plowman, CTV News, Edmonton.